I remember when I was nine years old and Mark Cole cried at a sleepover because he missed his mum. And all the other boys laughed at him and called him a wet wipe when we know deep down we all wanted to chant in unison, me too, when are we going home? I think about how when I was six years old, all of the class 3B boys had a birthday sleepover for Sam Cross and we found his sister's makeup and spent all night putting it on each other saying how beautiful we look. Steph, Sam's sister, caught us at around 11.34 p.m. But she didn't tell us off, she just laughed and said we looked stunning. And we made a makeshift catwalk and strutted around as a group of boys down the runway. And we all cheered each other on and posed as if we had no bodies to be ashamed of. Ten years later, Sam will see me in makeup at a birthday party and will call me a faggot. And I will cry and Mark will laugh at me whilst all the boys forget that they were once me too. I often wonder when Sam stopped wearing nail varnish and instead started pointing fingers. When sisters stopped making runways for you and instead started blocking roads. I wonder what age you were when you started to leave behind the things that once made you feel weightless. How a group of boys can go from nail varnish and popped hips to silent locker rooms and stifled tears. Do you not cry anymore because you are afraid of the sound you may make? I used to love sleepovers with the boys and not because I was a faggot. Okay, maybe a tiny bit because I was. <laughs> but because it would be the only time I would see them scared. At eight years old, I remember we played a game where we had to talk about our fears and Trey said he was afraid of being alone. And I often think about Trey and I hope he has not lost his softness, but something tells me he probably has. My last sleepover with a group of boys was Mix 13th. Something had changed. No longer talking, just staring at screens of guns, tits or comparing our sticks, silence as we try and figure out who is not really real as we convince ourselves we are really real. Sit in circles, jerking make-believe stories of manhood we've heard from someone else's father because none of ours are still here. This is no longer sleepover, just a funeral for the possibility of our genders. Here lies the chance we could be something more than repressed. Here lies the chance we could be something more than a man. My friend Layla once told me that at her sleepovers, all the girls would compare body parts in preparation for when magazines, men and bosses would do it later. I wonder what it would look like if we stopped telling ourselves all the things we are not allowed to do and instead set our bodies free from rules. If we could go back to our bedrooms with each other and not take our bodies, our gender, their ideas as serious and make a catwalk for each other to walk down, what would it mean to try on someone else's gender for the day? Today, to say I am afraid of the dark, but I am more afraid of never knowing if I could be more than this. We played a game of whispers at the last steepover and you started the whisper with, I'm afraid of violence. And by the end of the circle, someone said, I'm afraid of gender. And I said, it seems like you both whispered the same thing. Thank you so much. Thank you to Claire and all the Freeware team.